I'm going to do some Charleston modeling for American style. If you don't know how to play it, there are links below the video to the lesson playlist. In this Charleston modeling, the purpose is going to be to practice decision making using a mock Charleston. It is not an exact science. It's just for practice. If you have a set at home, give it a try yourself. You'll see that your confidence will improve. If you want to learn how to play Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and want to better your game, consider subscribing to my channel. Click the bell so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss anything. Let's get to this Charleston modeling. I have all my tiles out and they have been mixed. We're just going to say we're the dealer for these exercises. I'm going to take 14 random tiles. And then we're going to create a mock Charleston. Right across left, left across right. Well, this will be a really good example of what to do when you have no multiples and a mixture. You might think, I have nothing. I have heard this so many times in a situation like this. And really, that is not so. You definitely always have something to work with. You just have to make decisions that uses the most of the tiles that you have. So in this particular case, I do see a pattern of threes and fours. I think we should play something consecutive using threes and fours. We could maybe even use the dragons. Since we're using dragons, let's keep the wins. That leaves us with an eight and two sevens. I think passing like numbers is just as risky as passing a pair. So I don't think that's a good idea. We already have to decide against some of these tiles. I'm thinking, let's give up on the wind. We'll pass these three. We got a dragon. There's another seven and a north. If we had any other multiples, we could maybe even try for a quint. Look at these multiples. Let's switch to dragons and winds. Now, since we're keeping the red dragon, we could maybe even play something with the dots and a consecutive option. Three, four, five, or two, three, four with opposite dragons. So let's go ahead and discard one of each suit right here. Okay, there is a flower, a three dot. We could maybe switch to like numbers with reds here and here. Okay, we have to make a decision already. Let's see here. The three, four, five, or two, three, four with opposite dragons. Let's go ahead and give up on the north and hold on to the like number option. Let's pass these three. We still have options. We have a white dragon and two wests. Three, four, two, three, four with opposite dragons or like numbers with dragons. Let's give up the west. I don't like passing white dragons. Let's go ahead and discard these three. We'll give up on the like number option. Okay, we can pass those. This is a little risky because it's all consecutive. Maybe what we could do here is pass the west. 
break it up just a little bit. There's another flower and a green dragon. Look at the red, white, and green that we have here. We could play all dragons, which is a higher point hand than the like numbers. That would also give us tiles to pass. We could maybe even play a year hand here. That would be the year hand, the second one down under the year, two flowers, Kongs of Dragons, and a 2017. Let's pass these three. Got to exchange that joker. There's flower. And we have three tiles we can pass for optional cross. Oh, we got a seven. I think we should maybe try for that year hand here. Oh, look, they're the same. You don't have to have them match. That's not the way it works with um, American style. They can be anything. It just looks pretty. So I think we should play the year dragon hand. This hand is set. We have our pair. We need a Kong of green, Kong of red, and then we just need the two, two crack in there. So those would be the discards. That was a really good Charleston. Okay, let's do this again. Look at all these wins. We could play east and west with twos maybe, but I think probably all wins would be good. We're going to keep these as options though. Let's get rid of one of each suit. Even in an odd, mix suits. No keepers. Even, odd, mix suits. That's a good pass. There's a wind. Let's give up these three. There's a two and an east. We have one tile to pass. I think um, we could maybe break this up a little bit past those three. Let's play all winds. Get rid of that joker. There's a flower. Here's a south. We have a pung of east though. I do not want to pass like numbers and I don't want to pass a flower. So we have to pick our hand. We really, do, for the all wind Kong hand, we really don't need all the souths. So let's give up one of the souths. So we need a north and wests. That's what we really need here. Okay, we can get rid of the joker there. We picked up an east. Now we have tiles to pass. We're on last right. I do not want to pass like numbers or a flower, so I'm going to pass one blind. And we did have tiles that we can pass here for optional cross. We have discards. Four discards, which is really not too bad. What we really need here are north and wests, but we can use these jokers to help. We've got the Kong of East handled. This would be the very first hand under wins. I think I would hold the flower. We could play East and West with flowers if we drew in more flowers. We could Kong that West, and then this maybe could be Joker bait. 
these would be discards. If you would have done something different, write it in the comment section and let me know. But that's how I would play this one. Let's do one more. a flower north green pair of ones pair of eights one of those multiples has to go away so we just have to build around the most of what we have and in this case I think it's going to be the six seven eight all these consecutive numbers six seven eight so let's break that up right now and pass these three. We're gathering every six, seven, eight, even five, six, seven, eight. Anytime I'm in mixed suits, I'll gather four numbers around the multiple. In this case, five, six, seven, eight, or six, seven, eight, nine. Now we have all ones here. I'm not gonna pass those. That'd be like passing a pung. So we have to pick a hand here. So we have eights, Let's see, we could play six, seven, six, seven, eight. Six, seven, six, seven, eight. This would be the fourth hand down. Six, seven, six, seven, eight. Three different suits. Another option would be seven, uh, six, seven, eight with sevens in the middle. Either way, we don't need any of these. Another option would be keeping this flower like numbers, maybe or six, seven, eight in mixed suits, in which case that would be the Kong hand, six, seven, eight in mixed suits, that would be the third one down. So we could give these up, but we have to, we have to let something go. Let's get rid of the six. We'll throw these. There's a seven and we have tiles we can pass. Mixing up the suits a little bit. Okay, get rid of that joker. We keep a seven, maybe. Oh, here's a pair of ones. So here we have six, seven, six, seven, seven, eight. We could play, I still think six, seven, six, seven, eight is the best. Six, seven, six, seven, eight. We could do seven, eight, seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, seven, eight, nine, six, seven, six, seven. Let's give up the seven. I'm certainly not going to pass a pair. We'll pass these three. Here's a seven again, <laughs> but we have tiles we can pass right here. Get rid of the joker. There's a nine. Six, seven, eight, nine. Seven, eight, nine with eights in the middle. We have a four and a white and a flower. So here we have seven, eight, seven, eight. I still think six, seven, six, seven, eight is still going to be the best. Six, seven, six, seven, eight. Let's see, seven, eight, seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, seven, eight, nine. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait, seven, no, we need dots. Seven, to play the seven, eight, seven, eight, nine, that would be the, the fourth one down. We don't have a, an eight dot, there's a gap. So that takes lower priority. We need to just break this up. Let's pass these three. There's a seven. And we have tiles we can pass. Those can be discards. 
So really we have five discards. But if we get a six dot or a seven dot, this hand will be set because we can pung the six. This is already punged, Kong the eight. We need a six dot or a seven dot to be set. Five discards, that's not bad. If you have a set at home, get it out and give this exercise a try and let me know how it goes for you. I think it's a great practice, especially if you're new to the game or if you're an intermediate player and you want to improve your decision-making, give this exercise a try and let me know how it goes for you. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, consider subscribing. And if you have subscribed, thank you for joining my channel. And I'm so excited that you're part of the community Write comments in the comments section and let's build it together. Between now and the next Charleston Modeling for American Style, may all your picks be keepers.